Hello there guys and welcome to the super cool um, Friday Final Cut tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you guys three different methods for creating an invisibility effect. I know one of my users a while back requested this video and um, I was trying out some different methods for about the past week. Uh, so here's just kind of a collaboration of um, these three different methods and I'm going to kind of show you guys in, uh, like each individual effect as well as a tutorial for all of them. So let's get started. Alright, so this first effect here, it's uh, pretty simple. It just um, requires an opacity blur. Or an opacity and a blur. So if we pl if we uh, play this, we can kind of see here. There's like a little bit kind of like if you look at my legs, um, it looks kind of like it's traveling through time. So it's kind of got like a motion blur on it, as well as just kind of like I'm a little bit see through. Um, this next method is uh, pretty difficult to um, do correctly because it requires very nice lighting. Um, as you can see here, I just have a it's kind of like the invisibility effect from the movie um, Harry Potter. Um, it just requires a, a green sheet, such as a green screen, um, and very nice lighting. So this is probably the most the, uh, the hardest one to do out of all these three. Um, so now this last one is kind of like a, almost kind of a hologram looking effect. Um, how it kind of um, looks like you see through, but kind of like being projected or something. I'm not sure. So um, let's just do a tutorial for this uh, first one first. So we're going to come over here to new project. And uh, I'm just going to take in this... Um, this raw footage here of the um just me walking around um the uh, first one that you guys saw and i don't know what's doing that <laughs> oh well um so yeah i'm gonna just take this and drag them there how about that that looks better <laughs> okay so i'm gonna close out of that tab sorry about that um but yeah so here is the raw footage i don't need any of the audio so i'm gonna delete that um, but the first thing you want to do when you're actually filming this is you want to have, you know, the uh, video of your background, um, well, the video of your actor, as well as a um, still picture of the uh, background. And uh, you want this to be um, stationary, nothing in the background moves um, besides your actor, or else it'll kind of ruin the effect. So um, here we have me and uh, on video layer 2, and then I just a still image on video layer 1. So on video layer 2, we're going to come over here to motion, um, opacity. And then we're going to bring this down to about 50-ish percent. Um, there's no magic numbers, but you know, just play around to work uh, for what works for you. So here's what I enter on. And as you can see here, um, you know, it looks pretty basic. Now, there isn't too much fancy stuff. Um, if you guys want to get that sort of a motion blur effect, um, click on this um, video layer 2, the clip of your actor. And come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Time, and then we're going to do Trails. Now, uh, Trails is kind of like a motion blur, except it's um, got more um, control. So if we were to come over here to the Filters tab and look at this, we have uh, the Duration, Echoes, some Decay, Trail On, which means like the light or the dark stuff in your uh, clip, and then also the Mix, which is pretty standard. So um, that's how you create this effect, and it's um, that first one that I showed you guys over here. Come back and watch it. That's pretty much the uh, end product of what you're going to get. Now this uh, second one is um, a lot harder to do than the first one because it requires very nice lighting like I said beforehand. So pretty much you need a green sheet and um, that's pretty much it. So we're going to come over here to this uh, project again. This second project. I'm going to delete that out and let's just drag in this um, video clip of the uh, green sheet. Um, as we can see, that's pretty much what it is. Um, if we were to expand this out so we can see more. And let's drag in that background image one more time. It's the same background. Um, you gotta rem I remember just to take a, take a screenshot with your camera before you um, start filming. So I'm gonna come over here to a good spot, about maybe like right there-ish. Select video layer two, effects, video filters, key, and then we're gonna go to chroma keyer. Now, if you guys know a thing or two about uh, chroma keying, you probably know how it works and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to just do a very rough key for right now just because I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, and even for me, this is going to be pretty hard to do just because um, there isn't like, I didn't, you know, use nice lighting or anything like that. So something very, very rough. Let's bring in saturation tad. Edge then. All right, that looks pretty, pretty much, you know, as good as it's going to get. So now the real uh, magic happens when you when, uh, when you come over here to video layer two or video layer one, excuse me. Select that and come up here to effects, video filters, blur, and then kind of a Gaussian blur. Now, if you guys remember me um, talking a while back, you probably remember talking to me about a uh, a distortion mat or a uh, 
displacement mat. <laughs> and uh, what that means is it's kind of like matting a um, the motion of one clip onto the background of another. Um, and this is kind of like what I was hoping to kind of create, something like this. Um, but, you know, displacement mats are kind of hard in Final Cut. You know, if you have Adobe After Effects, um, they work, you know, really great. If you just, like, search those up, um, you'll probably find a bunch of videos. So that's pretty much how you do it with the green screen. Um, this, I think, probably gives you the best effect. However, it's also by far the hardest to do. Um, as we can see here, mine actually turned out pretty amazing compared to what I did. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what the results are going to be like, except um, if you guys got some better lighting, it's probably going to look a little bit better. So now, um, this last effect of uh, kind of an invisibility effect, you can see here kind of the, uh, that um, holographic look. So we're going to come back here over to the um, this other project, delete that, and I'm going to just drag in that um, video or that background. Um, you, you actually don't need a specific background for this, so if you guys just like go on Google Images, you can find some stuff on there. But you do need a, a green screen to film your actor on. So I'm going to come over here to my video archives, and I'm going to find that project. Um, here it is. It's my American Idol spoof um, from a while back, so I'm going to find the proper clip. That's the one, so I'm going to come over here and just drag this into the timeline onto video layer 2. I don't need any of the audio, so I'll delete out of that. Um, I'm just going to cut this down to about that length. doesn't really matter um, for this tutorial, so I'm going to crop out the uh, sides and uh, have some fun with that. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to come over here to Effects, Video Filters, Key, and then Chroma Key. Now this is just going to be the key at the green. We're not doing anything fancy here, so... Just go on ahead and key at the green. That looks pretty decent for what we're doing. Um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to select that clip on Video Layer 2. Come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Quick Time, and then we're going to come over here to Edge Detection. Now if we see here, it kind of just looks like a black image, but if we uh, select that clip again, come up here to Filters, and where it says the Edge Thickness, let's bring this up to a 7. Now, as we can see here, it kind of looks like a black and white, sort of like oldish, um, old image. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Motion, and then Opacity, and we're still selected on Video Layer 2, just as a reminder. And let's bring that Opacity down to about 50. And this is going to kind of give a good like, emotion of like a see-through effect. Um, so that's that. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, leave those down below. I'll be more than happy to respond to any of your questions. And remember, please, please, please subscribe. I'm making uh, these new tutorial videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Final Cut or whatever other um, program you guys want to see a few, uh, few things on. So leave me a uh, comment down below telling me if you guys want a specific effect, uh, effect or a video tutorial to be released. So on that note, I'll see you guys on Monday with another video tutorial. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.